All right, let's jump into chapter one, which is an introduction to entrepreneurial finance. We're going to cover four learning objectives. First, it is what are the source of entrepreneurial opportunities. Second is the life cycle of a venture. Third, what are the seven principles that underlie entrepreneurial finance? And four, let's go through a few bits of entrepreneurial finance lingo. And you'll know that there's buzzwords all over business, and that's no, no exception in the area of venture and venture financing. And you need to know the language. If you go to a networking function or if you're pitching in front of an angel or venture capital and you don't know the language of venture finance, you can appear to be inexperienced and unprepared. So you won't be that after this class. First, what are the sources? Well, we scan the horizon we experience things and what do we see that there are changes that are happening in society that create opportunity it could be lifestyle it could be trends in demographics next it could be technological technology leads to much innovation many opportunities to increase the quality or quantity or value of services and products to consumers then there are crises and bubbles it is uh, often difficult to go through a recession type of period. However, in those periods, we have what are called unintended entrepreneurs, where because of circumstance, they get laid off or their business is failing or the company you're working with is going nowhere, where they create for themselves an entrepreneurial opportunity, which may not have been even thought about if they have a nice steady job that pays well. And finally, there are economies that we see other than our developed nations and those offer, offer opportunities. It is a recent discovery of mine that there is, as the book from Prahalit says, fortune at the bottom of the pyramid. So just because we have nations that don't have money in Africa, South Asia, or ma many places of the world, does not mean there's not an opportunity to both earn a profit and create some needed products and services for those markets. I will discuss some of that in class on a project that I'm working on, which I hope illustrate how this works. So the stages of a venture's life, you've seen the S-curve ad nauseum, I'm sure by now in your program, but it is de depicting what we all see, is in the beginning, things are very slow and the progression is hard fought. And again, time delays and small dollars and small amounts of sales. But at some point, hopefully, your product adoption and the referrals and the reputation have you go through an acceleration and it's an exhilarating phase in a business. And then now your struggle is delivery and growth to capture the market before others jump in. At some point, the company will slow its growth and ultimately mature and ultimately beyond that decline. Our goal as entrepreneurs and as business people is to have not one S curve where we kind of live and die with one product, but to create a series of S curves that allow us to constantly innovate, find new markets or expand existing markets so we can continue to grow and succeed. But this is a core to all business, but we live that in very painful fashion as entrepreneurs. So when we use terms, we're gonna, you're gonna hear a lot of this. This is a bit of the venture lingo. You'll hear terms like seed or development stage. Then there's startup when you're underway. There's early stage financing, again, at this part of your life cycle. Then there's survival. You're just trying to get out there and have cash flow and cash uh, investments sufficient to carry the day. Then we go through rapid growth and expansion, leading to some signs of early maturity. You'll have options as an entrepreneur and as a business. What do you do during the various phases? And we're always looking at what is the proper time for exit. Exit is not a bad thing. It is how we liquefy or get some gains that are tangible to the founders, to the employees, and to the shareholders that have supported the business. 